The Golden State Warriors could be in a lot of trouble and Pau Gasol gets his jersey retired by the Los Angeles Lakers. What's up guys, my name is Bogar. Welcome to day two of NBA news. If you enjoy, make sure you subscribe down below and let's get straight into it. The Golden State Warriors have had a very weird injury riddled season, missing both Curry and Wiggins for a lot of time. And it's been a little bit hard for them to keep up in the West knowing how loaded the West is this year. So it was great news for all Warrior and even NBA fans to see that Curry was back the other day. Although his return was spoiled by the Lakers and just to night he lost to the Oklahoma City Thunder, leaving them at 34 and 32 currently, which is sixth in the Western Conference, which normally you wouldn't be too worried about a team as a sixth seed, but in the West right now, they're only two games out from not even being in the playoffs. And it is absolutely crazy, but only three games decide the difference between the fifth seed and the 13th seed in the West right now. So for any team in that stance, every single game counts. And with the Warriors losing back to back to the Lakers and the Thunder, that is not a good look. And things do not get much easier for them soon as they play the Grizzlies, Suns, Bucks, and Clippers in their next four. And those are all tough games. Now we all know the Warriors are the Warriors and I would never count them out in the playoffs, but first they have to worry about closing out the regular season to ensure a playoff spot. But on the positive side, Curry is picking up right where he left off as tonight he dropped 40 points and 10 three-pointers. And like I just said, you really can't ever count out the Warriors. Because as long as they ensure this playoff spot, you still don't want to see Steph, Clay, and Poole in the playoffs. And right now, in my opinion, the only team that can really stop the Warriors are the Phoenix Suns. Now, I would definitely keep an eye on the Warriors and make sure they start winning these games, but at the end of the day, Steph is going to Steph and there is nothing to worry about. And even though they lost, Steph hit yet another one of his famous look-away threes. Something that seems like Kyle Kuzma has to get a grip on. Now listen, he has been having a great season, but this is one of the most Kyle Kuzma things I have ever seen. I mean, just look at the bench. Look at Chris Apps Porzingis. This is embarrassing. Anyways, onto Pau Gasol's jersey retirement, something that is very well deserved for an NBA legend. One of the greatest power forwards of all time and someone that Kobe Bryant considered as a brother. A surefire Hall of Famer and he gave one hell of a speech tonight. Now, I would play some of the clips, but I don't want to get copyrighted or anything, so I do advise you to go check it out for yourselves, but I'm basically going to summarize it up for you. It was very emotional and heartfelt. He got his jersey hung up right next to his brother, Kobe Bryant. And what made it even more emotional is that Kobe was looking forward to this day for a long time, and he would always talk to Pal about it. Kobe's wife, Vanessa, was there. A lot of their former teammates were there, and then Kobe chants started breaking out in the stadium. And to make this magical night even better in LA, the Lakers capped off the night by beating the Memphis Grizzlies and moving up into a play-in spot. Now, like I did mention earlier, the 5 through 13 seed were all divided by about two games right now in the West. And there is a lot of season to go, so let's not get too ahead of ourselves. But the Lakers have not been in part of the play-in portion of the standings in a long time. So right now, it's looking pretty good for the Lakers. LeBron James should be back soon enough to make sure they ensure this spot in either the playoffs or the play-in. And to close things off, my New York Knicks had an absolutely embarrassing loss tonight to the Hornets, but we can't even really be bad because they had a nine game winning streak prior. And they're still sitting at five seed in the East, so they're still good position right now, but this one really would have helped them gain on the Cavs. Especially after last night's Grant Williams meltdown that led to the Cavs beating the Celtics. But guys, that's pretty much going to do it for this episode. If you did enjoy, make sure you leave a like down below to see if we can get 20 likes on this video. Make sure you subscribe for more NBA content, and I will see you guys in the next video.